The Port of Los Angeles has played a key role in the funding and development of the world's first ever zero emission hydrogen fuel cell electric class A truck through the Technology Advancement Program, a joint program with the Port of Long Beach. And so the Port of LA and the Port of Long Beach, which are economic entities, are able to back companies like this to be innovative, to set a new style, to set a new trend, and a basis of a new economy for America. Developed by Vision Industries, the first zero emission truck was delivered on Friday, July 22nd to Total Transportation Services Incorporated. TTSI is a national trucking company that will put the zero emission vehicle to the test in both the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach on short haul conditions for the next six months. The goal is for cleaner, greener, smarter vehicles. The goal is to break the gasoline habit. And we're making astonishing progress. A hydrogen fuel cell class eight heavy duty truck. That's a step in the right direction. When they lifted up the hood on the truck, I said, where's the engine? Where is it? It's that little thing right in front, but that powerful thing. Now, this is a Class A truck that is capable of pulling 80,000 pounds. Um, the motors have 3,300 pounds per foot of torque, which is almost double the largest diesel. Uh, this allows us to actually run these trucks without a transmission. So besides being zero emission and super powerful, these trucks are actually also um, cheaper to operate. These are actually the tanks that we use to store the hydrogen. And then on top, that black box that you see, that actually converts the hydrogen into electricity. It's a fuel cell. And the only byproduct that it actually makes and emits is pure H2O. We are about clean energy. It can happen here. It needs to happen here. We need to make sure the focus remains here. And I'm so honored to be able to be a part of this because it is public private partnerships that's going to help us get on the clean road and stay on the clean road. We can actually offer a pound of hydrogen, which gets you about as far as a gallon of diesel in a typical drainage application for about half the price. It's very difficult to develop something like this when you're up against corporations that want to keep the same model in place because that's the way they make their money, through those diesel engines, you know, through the certain types of fuel, and uh, increasing the carbon imprint everywhere. That's what we're up against. If we want to stay in the game, we have to ensure that rail can move those car that cargo. And you're not going to expand the rail yards in LA until the trucks moving from the port to the rail are at zero emissions, not the emissions we have today. It's the only way to sell it. It's in our economic interest to support efforts like this. This is our future. We have no other choice and no other way to go. Since hydrogen is the most abundant resource on the planet, this technology could help pave the way to independence from imported fuel.